Now. 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 Now for a very, very Later. big, crazy, you know, unknown grape. One of my favorite wines for years and years and years from our friend Sebastian Bistu up in Winebridge Imports. He's, he's been bringing the Cerbala forever, which is the name of the tree that this is in. And it's, every year it's just a classic. And, and I bought it this year because we may have featured it years ago, like the 13 or the 12. But Ooh, this man. is just, if you want to know, what does Malbec taste like, Paul? Here, right? Darn it. The first thing it hits you is licorice. Just a big blast of, of licorice and then really dense black cherry and cassis, you know. Man, this is not for, for the, uh, the faint it's of heart. It's just spice galore. It's firm, as Malbec is usually. Yeah. It's very the color's right. I just The other day, somebody came in the wine shop, and they're like, do you have any Malbec? I go, you want to know what Malbec should taste like? Yeah, okay. I gave well, stuff is unbelievable. I tell you, fifteen ninety nine dollars uh, for the reorder price, I, that that is really a steal. I mean, even 23 you want, bucks. You want to just keep smelling it, because it's just I, so interesting. Really? This is, uh, let's just bore the rest of the... I know. The fact is, you can see it on your glass. It turns your glass red. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's a 98 for me. Yeah. I'm there, I'm there as well. Bodega Atomisk. It's At Tupangato, which... I was looking at Tupangato the other day because I've had a lot of wine in there lately. And it's at the base of the Andes, so it's getting all the runoff. Uh, oh. It's still like 1,200 feet up. No, oh, no, more than that. More like 3,000. 3,000 feet. Right? Yeah, it's 3, it's 3, 1,200 feet meters up. is yeah. what it is. <laughs> uh, but, man, yeah. Well, they have to be because they're, you know, they're on the equator and they don't have any weather. 